Hey guys, good morning. So um, it is Wednesday morning and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little annoyed at myself right now. I had set my alarm this morning for 5 a.m. to get out and to hammer some work, which is something that I love to do. I love waking up in the morning before everyone else and just getting as much work done as possible so that uh, the rest of the day is free to do stuff with the kids or to um, you know do whatever else I need to do. Reese did not sleep well last night. She was up at three and four. So yeah, I ended up pressing snooze. So. So yeah, it's now eight o'clock and um, we slept in. No one actually, no one's awake. Everyone is sleeping right now. Today I'm gonna do a little bit of a day in the life and uh, um, it's not gonna be all that riveting, but uh, yeah, a little behind the scenes of just what a typical day looks like. Over here, um, starting later than anticipated. But anyway, happy Wednesday. Say good morning. Yeah. Good morning. You gonna go to school today? Yeah. We'll go wake everyone up. You wanna wake everyone up? Yeah, please. Yeah. Say good morning. Morning. Have a good day. Good day. <laughs> super behind today uh, as I said earlier but lots to do uh, lots on the go and I'm just gonna you know do what I can and uh, cut myself some slack because every once in a while you need a good sleep in right so basically today is all about getting a lot of work done I have a coaching call lined up because uh, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching with stepmoms I also have some emails to respond to for my email coaching service I have some self-care booked in and there's a video coming out today so Lots on the go. Uh, let's see how much I can uh, actually get done. Okay, so like I said, today is kind of a, has some self care on the agenda. So I just got my nails done. I just got my lashes done, and I do that every two to three weeks. And people, actually, last week I'm pretty sure someone called me high maintenance, and that's totally fine. I like to do it. It makes me feel good. The lashes are amazing because you wake up in the morning and you don't have to put any makeup on. You just throw your hair in a top knot and off you go. And you lay on a bed for an hour and no one really speaks to you and when you're a mom and a stepmom that's pretty sweet also on the self-care agenda today is uh you know what it's something that i wasn't going to talk to anyone about and i was going to keep it a secret but i was just driving home and i'm like you know what i'm gonna share this because there's nothing to be ashamed of and it really is about taking care of yourself. So I'm going to a counseling session today. I've gone to counseling before, before my husband and I got married, just because when I got together with my husband, a whole lot of stuff about my parents' divorce just kind of came up for me and I felt like I needed to work through it. I'm going back to counseling now because I still feel like there is some stuff from my childhood and from my past that is affecting me now and it's affecting um, it's taking out my time and energy because I'm thinking about it a lot so yeah I'm going to counseling today and I'm not afraid to say it out loud and that's because I think that we shouldn't be afraid to say that stuff out loud there's nothing wrong with going to counseling there's nothing wrong with seeking support everyone in life has their shit everyone is going through crap Everyone has stuff from their past that creeps up and affects them in their current life. It's, it's the truth. Everyone's got to work through the shit because if you don't work through it, it keeps coming back and it keeps coming back in a different way. So um, yeah, today I'm going to go work through some shit. I just want to normalize it, right? Because, you know, going to a professional and getting and seeking outside support, I think is a phenomenal thing. And um, I think more people should be doing it personally. So off I go.
right, so I don't know if you got the drift there, but that was a very on the fly dinner. But something that I've been trying to do lately is instead of having a planned dinner every single night, once a week, I just am like, we're gonna have whatever is in the fridge. I found that I was throwing out a lot of food and uh, there's always leftovers. There's always just things that we can have. Like tonight we had banana, peanut butter and chocolate chip wraps. Uh, not the most healthy of dinners, but um, kids loved it, they ate it, and it was simple, quick, and now I can start doing all of the work that I was supposed to do all day today. All right, so here I am. Uh, I just literally brewed myself a cup of coffee, or a pot of coffee. Hopefully, I'm gonna get another pep in my step, or a second wind, if you will, so I can plow through some stuff tonight, but, um, sorry, I need that. Before I start to get um, into my work, I just wanted to debrief about kind of the quick conversation we had about counseling today before I went into my session, which by the way, was really great. You know, I talked about it very carefree in the car, but I felt like I was gonna puke when I walked into that building today and I was very, very nervous about opening up to a stranger. But I have to tell you, uh, going in and just talking about all the things that we talked about and working through all the things that we started to work through, I feel a load off my shoulders. The thing is, I have a great life. You know, I, we have a lot of great things happening in our world. I just feel like sometimes my past and things that I, you know, haven't really dealt with find their find their way into my head, and they just consume my thoughts. And I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't, I don't want to live like that anymore. Obviously, talking about it because I think that um, we should talk about this stuff, and there's nothing to be ashamed of. And hopefully, me being open about it uh, inspires someone else just to call someone and um, get the counseling or support that they've been thinking about getting. So pretty deep, but uh, important conversation, right? Alright, so it's after midnight and uh, I'm done. Got my stuff done. Darren um, I took over Reese duty for the night and I managed just to plow out everything that I needed to do. So um, yeah, I'm gonna hit the hay, but uh, I guess that's my first day in the life vlog, I guess. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.